Hey folks, some nice guys from the reddits made a list on this topic. Link is in the description, here is my summary for you. Lately, I get asked a lot which mainboard to buy for the new AMD Ryzen CPUs everyone is talking about. Short answer, if you want the newest stuff, just buy an X570 and you're fine. For the rest of you who want to upgrade or are looking for a more affordable alternative, this list is your lifesaver, or at least it will save you a lot of time. Case 1. You want to save a ton of money and therefore you plan to buy a B450 board. Also you want to be able to upgrade in the future. So if you want the best CPU support of all the B450s out there, then the MSI Gaming Pro Carbon is for you. Its power supply should even be able to run a moderately overclocked 16-core Ryzen if you add some airflow to the VRM heatsinks. The same goes for the MSI Tomahawk or the MSI Mortar Titanium if you want a micro ATX board. They both also are below the 100 euro line and support USB BIOS flashback. So you don't even need a old CPU to make them Ryzen 3000 ready. This makes them the best affordable Ryzen 3000 boards in my opinion. Case number 2. You have a B450 or X470 board and you plan to run a stock 3800X or below. Good news? Almost any board of the 400 series will do. There are some really crappy boards out there like the Prime B450MA or the MSI B450M Pro M2 which could be pushed beyond their limits by the new CPUs. But there's a 90% chance your board will run anything up to a 3800X just fine. Just check the list if you're not sure. Case number 3. You want, for some reason, buy an X470 board. Maybe because they don't have a chipset fan, maybe for some other reasons. The best bang for the buck is the MSI X470 Pro Carbon. Around 200 euros I'd suggest the ASRock X470 Tai Chi or the ASUS X470 F Strix. All three of them have a power supply more than able to deal with any Ryzen 3000 CPU you can throw at them at the moment. The Tai Chi could even run Threadrippers without a problem. A cheaper choice would be the ASUS Prime X470 Pro. Everything else has one or more drawbacks in my opinion, like being too expensive in comparison for offering less. Case number 4. You want to buy a high-end X470 board for no reason at all. I don't know why you would, but just do it. You will have your own good reasons. I can't think of any because X570 is just around the corner and seems to offer a lot of interesting boards in the 500 euro range. Case number 5. Anything else. Check the list, have fun. Say thanks to its creators. They did and still do a stellar job to keep us informed. So thanks to CR1318 and Cordobus, you save us a lot of time. A short suggestion at the end. Crucial Ballistics memory with Micron E-Dice dropped another chunk in price and is probably the best value overclocking RAM available at the moment. Give it a look and do some research if this sparked your interest. Also, I'll rename my channel shortly, so don't be confused if things start to look a bit different within the next few days. That's it for today. If you liked the video then feel free to like, comment and subscribe and above all please share to help me grow this tiny channel. If you hate me for trying to inform you then give me the thumbs down. Thanks for watching, take care and see you next time.